there are many cheap running shoes out there and a lot of them are trash. And when you buy them because they look good in pictures and description, you end up being disappointed once you try them on. That has happened to me many times. Now that's where this video comes in. I have sifted through much of the mush of budget shoes to sniff out the really good ones that are worth your money and showcase them here. Long story short, you can still get pretty good branded running shoes at your budget. So here is my ranking of affordable running shoes to buy 2024. All these shoes that I'm presenting here today, I have reviewed them individually and you can find their videos in my channel. That's where you get all the details and everything you need to know about each of these shoes. So feel free to look at anyone that interests you. However, before we delve deeper, please take a second to subscribe to the channel. We need it so much. At the time of making this video, we have 674 subscribers. Please help us to get to 1000. That out of the way, let's get down to business. At number 5, I have the Adidas Duramo Speed. Now, this is a pretty decent affordable running shoe from Adidas. It has quite a number of positives. 1. This shoe is lightweight. It weighs 293 grams in men's US size 11. It is neat and clean, looks good, very breathable, has a decent cushion and response, and the tick also guarantees nice durability. The cons, well, it falls back in the ranking because this shoe fits narrow. You will need to go about half a size up to get a more comfortable fit. It is also not the most stable of this series. It needs a little breaking period for optimal performance. The price can also get a little high when it is not on sale, you know, 55 to 90 US dollars at the time of making this video. At number 4, I have the Puma Sam Pro, one of Puma's budget shoes that impressed me. The Pros, well, this has a wide toe box, very good cushion, responsive, looks great, durable, stable, and right now the price is very good. I think it has the best price of this series as at now, 35 to 45 US dollars at the time of making this video. The negatives, well, the major reason for this shoe dropping lower in the ranking is because of its weight. It is relatively heavy, 342 grams in men's US size 11. That's about 52 grams heavier than the number one ranked shoe. So that's quite a significant weight. Also, the arch support is somehow poor. It also has a slightly firm overlay in the toe guard area, which can potentially cause rubbing, especially around the little toe if your feet is wider. At number 3, I have the Nike Run Swift 3. This is one of my favorite budget shoes right now. The pros, it is very pocket friendly now. You can get them for as low as 50 to 60 US dollars. A very functional shoe, comfortable for all day wear if you want to use them as casuals. It has about the best lockdown among this series due to its flywire technology. It has nice cushion, good response, very comfortable with loads of padding. Nice toe box room, decent arch support, looks durable, very good price right now, 50 to 60 US dollars, you know, approximately. And the cons, well, the major negative it has is that it is slightly heavy, 316 grams in men's US size 11. Also, it does not look quite premium, unlike the other budget shoes in this series. You know, when you are looking at this, you can guess it is not very expensive. At number two, I have the Nike Downshifter 13. Of all the shoes in this series, the Nike Downshifter 13 has the best cushion and the best arch support. This shoe will be great for his strikers. Also, the response is pretty cool. The toe box is very accommodating and the shoe length is nice and comfortable. It feels great right out of the box, no breaking period needed at all. It also looks good too. It is stable and appears durable. Now what are the negatives? Well, it is slightly heavy, 310 grams in men's US size 11, 20 grams heavier than the number one ranked shoe. However, it's also not that heavy because it has the same weight as the Nike Pegasus Sport, you know. And another negative is that the price is still a little high, you know, 75 to 100 US dollars. But I'm sure within some months, the price will drop as it gets more widely available. At number one, I have the A6 Gel Excite 10. It is very lightweight. In fact, it is the lightest among these five ranked shoes. 290 grams in men's US size 11. That is a pretty lightweight shoe. It 
is very comfortable right out of the box. No breaking period needed at all. It is clean and cute, breathable, nice cushion, great arch support, good dough box width, very stable, relatively responsive, and looks durable. Now, what's the negative? Well, the only negative for this shoe is that it could get relatively more expensive than some of the other budget shoes in this series. You know, around 65 to 80 US dollars. But definitely, you can get them cheaper when they are on sale. I got mine on sale for approximately 59 US dollars. So that's it guys. These are my top 5 budget shoes to buy this 2024. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one.